Damn it. Kanji-kun. Wait, Yukiko. Something's wrong. It's still coming at us! Kanji is still rejecting it! Well, I can't blame him with this many witnesses. Such a passionate approach. What? I think that you three would make wonderful boyfriends. Stop it! You got it all wrong! Enough! Stop! What the hell are you blabbering about? I don't care who hurt someone! Anyone please accept me! Stop it! Accept me for who I am! Whoa, whoa! I really don't swing that way! I said stop it! I can't believe something like this is inside me. Kanji, you're... Yeah, I know. I've known all this time I had something like you. It ain't a matter of guys or chicks. I'm just scared shitless of being rejected. I'm a total pansy who tries to make everyone hate me. <sighs> Come on, get up. Anyone who looks like me, I know they ain't so weak that they can't take a punch. I already know that you're me. You're me. And I'm you, damn it. Great. It's like my mind's all cleared up. Hey, about what just happened. Yeah, you better. We'll explain everything later. You need to take a rest now. We'll be waiting for you at school. School? Sure, if I ever feel like going. I'll take this guy home. If anyone asks, I'll just say I found him somewhere like this. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Remember that Kanji Tatsumi guy I told you about? You know, the one who went nuts on that news special. His family's shop called in to report him missing. But now he's been found. I thought I'd let you know since you go to the same high school. Yeah. One other thing. Some people have seen you around that textile shop lately, I hear. It's not the kind of shop students normally visit. Just what kind of business did you have there? A friend? Oh, that Amagi girl. That's right. Her family's in buys their stuff wholesale. <sighs> Fine. Just don't get yourself in over your head, okay? Are you fighting again? <laughs> 